we're here at uh, CES 2010, and uh, you're from Marvel. Yeah, hi, I'm Greg Stearman from Marvel. I'm with the uh, business unit that's announced this week the Armada 610. You can get a close up of that. This is a new processor from Marvel that integrates an ARM v7 core that we designed, and it integrates a hardware HD capable 1080p video encode decode engine along with a hardware 3D graphics accelerator. So, can we look around? What's yeah? Around? This is actually the 12 by 12 millimeter discrete package. We have another package that actually accepts uh, LPDDR2 and flash memory soldered to the top. Yeah. So you can build a really small device like a handset or a small MID or media player with this processor. It's so small my camera can't focus on it. <laughs> Very good. Okay, let and me... this, this device will interface with Marvell wireless solutions for 802.11n and cellular, 3G cellular, uh, and you can connect a Marvell based SSD drive so you can store a lot of movies in a small device. This is just an example platform that we designed at Marvell using the processor. It's not an end product. So you have uh, you have Windows Mobile, uh, what is this? Yeah, this, this is a platform that we've uh, configured with Windows Mobile 6.5. We support all the major OS's. This actually is a nice uh, OS that shows off the 3D graphics, smooth scrolling. We have Wint support for WinCE. We also have... Uh, is this actually a resistive uh, touch? Or no, this is a capacitive really? screen. It's a solution provided by a third-party company, Synaptics. So is it 4.8 inch? Yeah. This is a 4.3 inch diagonal LCD with a capacitive touch screen. It's only 4.3? Yeah. Oh, it's not 4.8? Uh, no, it's 4.3. It's a beautiful yeah. display. We sure. also support HDMI output. So you can actually have simultaneous displays. With this processor, we support two LCDs, HDMI, and even an EPD display controller. So uh, this is a full Windows Mobile experience on a big screen. It's not very. Uh, it's not really on the market that kind of screen for Windows Mobile, is it? Uh, have you seen any 4.3 yeah. inch? Uh... So Windows Mobile devices come in a range of sizes. They could certainly have smaller displays. They could have multiple displays, and our hardware would support all those configurations. So it says over here uh, about. Uh, yeah. Oh, I can zoom in on the belt. Then it says uh, C. So this is an early. Is it okay if I film can, that? Yeah, I mean. It's, so it says uh, PXA688. That's yeah, the one. That was an internal name for the Armada 610. Cool. And it's Armada okay I film all that, okay? Sure. I hope it's okay. And so what's going on over here is that this one actually has an Android sticker on it. Yeah. So what are you going to do right now? So I'm going to move my... This is really simply just a power connector. This board would let me connect a debugger to program the flash memory or connect a Unix and Linux console port here if you wanted to do debugging. Uh, the boards at the show don't have batteries plugged into them, so we're using this as just a, a way to power them without a battery. So you're going to power it to boot it up, right? Yeah, I'll connect it. It will boot. We have NAND flash in the device. And for the show, we've actually configured these to boot off of a, a file system that's in the uh, SD card. So over so, there is a little, what is that, the monkey? It's a, yeah, sort of a pink, it's the penguin monkey. Penguin monkey? <laughs> <laughs> and it's the Marvel logo or what? No, not no, no, the Marvel. No. This is the, this <laughs> is... From the OS. Okay. So now you can see. And there's a little tiny Android. Uh, yeah. You can see there. It's cool. So it means that so, it's a high resolution. Did you say the resolution? Uh, the resolution of this display is uh, wide VGA 800 by 480. Cool. And so this we, particular platform has not been optimized for boot time. Yeah. Normally you'd expect these to boot, depending on the kind of memory, but pretty quickly, a few seconds. Yeah. Um, 20 and, seconds. Yeah, that's Bless. a good benchmark. Yeah. Sure, okay. absolutely. So that'll happen. It may take yeah. longer here, but... But it's cool. We saw yeah. it boot up. Yeah, this is Android Eclair. You can sort of move around on the user interface. You can tap the little control so how much panel. So how much did you optimize of this? Is it fully optimized already? Well, I wouldn't say it's fully optimized. I would say there's always room for work, but it does... Uh, 
and will have uh, make good use of the hardware 3D engine for the user interface. It's it's a nice experience, even with the brand new processor that's just a few weeks old and the first software port to this new platform. Right. Marvell has, has done uh, Android on a lot of other products, so yeah. just a direct... Uh, really? Uh, how many other products? Uh, well, we have Android support on the older X-Scale products, the, the PXA310 and the Armada 100 family over here. So those are already so, there. Is there a, a back button? Where it, where uh, it? Yeah, one of these is, is back, or you can go home all the way. There. So uh, I was just trying to uh, see if I could, uh, you could check see. the Wi-Fi. Is that working, do you think? No, Wi-Fi is not enabled on okay. this one because it's not a good environment in the show, actually. And uh, can I go down in uh, about phone? About, is that yeah. okay? Yeah, that's okay. You're not uh, going to sue me? No. no. Uh, it says, uh, you, you called it the, the Jasper. The yeah, the, the name for this platform is actually Benel. So right. the user guide and information of this are on the Marvel Extranet site. So you need to register for that. But there is uh, information. The web, the press release for the PX or the Armada 610 is actually on the public website. All right. Came out this week. And then we're showing some other demos here that I can bring up that are also Linux platforms that you could take a look at. So what are, they, what are they doing there? So this platform is actually running the 3D Mobile Mark uh, 06 benchmark, the Samurai. That's a 3D graphics rendering benchmark. It sort of simulates a game. It has some really fast action and dynamic fluid motion. This is using our graphics accelerator. And simultaneously on the same processor, we're doing 1080p video decode to a television through HDMI. That's and that's just unbelievable. Yeah, it's it's really good. So you actually playing an Xbox game and playing a Blu-ray at the same time in a in a chip the size of. That's right, and we can pull the movie off of an SSD with Marvel technology or stream something over 802.11n. Oh, in. <laughs> Very good, and it's one of the cool things about having this in that form factor. Everybody keeps their their media content, their movies especially, in high definition format. You don't want to transcode them and then copy them over USB to your phone. So if you have a de mobile device that can play them in uh, HD, you don't have to move things and down convert them. You can take all of your content with you. It can be wirelessly synchronized on your mobile device while it's plugged in and you're sleeping. You pick it up. You can carry it, watch it on the airplane, plug it into the cradle in your hotel room, and see it on the big TV over HDMI. So, what do you call this? Uh, share no limits, or what is a what is the code yeah, name for this uh, yeah. tablet uh, Android? Uh... So, so the Armada 610 is really the processor platform, and Marvell is enabling the always-on connected wireless lifestyle. Is there a name for this, uh, uh, this prototype? This is just a prototype. We call this the Benel platform okay. within Marvell. Cool. Okay, that's awesome. Thanks a lot. Thank you very Thanks. much.